Welcome guys, this is the 9th tutorial of Atmega 16 and this tutorial is based on ADC of Atmega 16. We will use the ADC library of MicroC compiler for ADC interfacing. With the Atmega 16 ADC, we can measure a voltage from 0V to 5V and we have 8 channels of ADC. The resolution of ADC is of 10 bits. Some of the terms related to the ADC are resolution, step size and D out. The resolution is the number of bits of the ADC. In the case of Atmega 16, we have a 10 bit ADC. So 2 raised to power 10 is equal to 1024. Next term is the step size and the step size is VREF divided by 1024. The VREF is the reference voltage for ADC and it can be from 0 to 5 volt. So if we consider VREF is equal to 5 volts, the step size will be 4.88 millivolts. The step size is the minimum change in the signal which can be detected by the ADC. The conversion of analog signal into digital signal will provide a digital output. So this is the formula to calculate the digital output after the conversion. It is V in divided by step size and V in is the voltage on ADC channel. The VREF of the ADC is very important because the step size and the measurement range of the ADC depends upon the VREF voltage. Suppose this VREF is set to 5 volts. In the case of this VREF, the step size will be 4.88 millivolt and we can measure a voltage signal from 0 to 5 volts maximum. Now consider VREF is set for 3 volts. In this case, the step size will be 2.92 millivolts and we can measure only 0 to 3 volts maximum. And if I set the VREF to 1 volt, then the step size will be 0 0.976 millivolts and I can measure only 0 to 1 volt signal with the ADC. Now consider this example where I am connecting a potentiometer in this configuration to the ADC channel 0. I will go with the VREF is equal to 5 volts. So the step size will be 4.88 millivolts and I can measure signal from 0 to 5 volts. Let the voltage set by the potentiometer is 1.5 volt. To calculate the D out after the conversion, we have to use this formula V in divided by step size. So the V in is 1.5 volts or 1500 millivolts divided by 4.88 millivolts is equal to approximately 307. So in this way you can calculate the result of conversion with D out formula. I have connected this 16x to LCD on port C to display the conversion result of the ADC. On port A we have 8 channels of ADC, ADC 0 to ADC 7. You can use any of the ADC channel from port A. I will go for the ADC channel 0. To get a potentiometer search for port HG and select this potentiometer, double click on it to add it into the device list, place the potentiometer near to the ADC channel. This point will provide a variable voltage output. So connect this to the ADC channel number 0, connect the 5 volt to one end of the potentiometer and ground to the other end of the potentiometer. So when we will vary this pointer, it will provide a variable voltage to the ADC channel. Let's connect a voltmeter on the output of this potentiometer. For that go to virtual instrument mode and select the DC voltmeter. Place the voltmeter near to the potentiometer and connect the terminals. In the microC compiler first create a new project and mention the LCD pins in the program and don't forget to include the LCD library from the library manager and for this tutorial we also need the ADC library. So click on this ADC library to include in the program. I also declare one array of the character type to save the ASCII value from 0 to 9. First I will initialize the LCD module. So the function is LCD underscore INIT. Provide a command to turn off the cursor of LCD. Display the text on LCD from first row and first column. So we got a text on this LCD ADC value. I will display the ADC conversion result to the second row of the LCD. Stop the simulation and go back to the compiler. First create an infinite loop with while 1. The ADC of Atmega 16 is a 10 bit ADC. To save the result of ADC we have to declare a variable of integer type. We can't use the character type variable because character can store only 8 bit data. 
before using the adc read command from the adc library we have to initialize the adc so the command the function is adc underscore init this function will initialize the adc module of at mega 16 now we can use other functions of the library to read the channel of the adc to read the value from the adc channel first i will type the name of the variable equal to adc underscore read and in the brackets we have to mention the channel number of the adc i'm connecting the potentiometer to adc 0 so the channel number will be 0 here now we can't directly display the result on lcd we have to pick the ascii value from this array we have to use lcd underscore chr function type the name of array then square brackets and type the name of variable which is holding the result of conversion divided by 1000 and take modulus by 10 copy this line and paste it first change the column location to next location then divide the result by 100 and modulus by 10 change the column location to 3 and divide the result by 10 and percentage 10 change the column location to 4 and and for the last line we need only percentage 10 so this line is for the lsb of the result and this is for msb of the result because the edc conversion will go up to maximum 1023 from 0 so this is a four digit value that's why we need maximum divide by 1000 for this result compile the program and go for proteus isis run the simulation and you can see the voltage is 2.75 volts and the result on the display is 563 so if i change the value of this voltage by varying the potentiometer you can see the maximum at 5 volts we will get 1023 maximum go for 0 volt then the reading is 0 so in this way the adc channel is measuring a variable voltage from 0 to 5 volts and we are getting a converted value on the display. Suppose I set the voltage from this potentiometer to 1.65 volts, which is 1650 millivolts. According to the D out formula, V in divided by step size is equal to the conversion value of the ADC. Now this is 338. So it must be the value on our LCD. So you can see this is the 338 value of V in in digital. So guys in this tutorial we are just converting this analog input signal to the corresponding digital value with the ADC of the Atmega 16. So guys in the next tutorial we will try to convert this ADC value into the temperature value with the help of a temperature sensor connected to the ADC channel. For now just practice with the ADC library of the micro C compiler. So stay in contact, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel.